All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, double eyes to the apostles and elders up in Great Millstone, the peace and salutation to Allah Aki and pushing his word and truth and sincerity. <clears throat> yeah, we wanted to get a video on the uh, virgin birth, um, you know, to, to prove that our Lord Yahweh Shah came through the flesh and it actually came uh, through the offspring of Joseph, um, or, or to prove that Joseph and Mary actually had sex. Uh, we want to get the first scripture in Isaiah. This is Isaiah 7 and 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Yeah, well, this is, this is pretty much a prophecy. A prophecy uh, talking about uh, Mary. And that word virgin there, in the Hebrew, if you look it up, it means ayalama, meaning a, a young woman of marital age. It doesn't mean she haven't had sex before. Um, and it was, it's another scripture to, uh, you know, prove, because there's it's, it's two definitions of virgin. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's two different meanings of virgin in the scriptures, you know, um, and, and that was one of them, which is, uh, it means ayalama in the Hebrew. Uh, another one, you got that. Uh, yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, the other one that he's talking about, which will be uh, Bafwala. Um, I'm gonna read this in Genesis, uh, the 24th chapter, uh, pursuant to um, Rebecca. Uh, I mean, Genesis 24 and 15. It says, "And it it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold, Rebecca came out, who was born to uh, Bethuel, son of Malka." The wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder, and the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin. Neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well and filled her pitcher, and came up. Now, this this word virgin, in Genesis the twenty-fourth uh, chapter, the sixteenth verse, that word goes to the word um, uh, Bathwala, which that means she was a virgin, because the scriptures. It says um, she never um, no man. Yeah, let me show it. Let's see, oh man, there you go. It's good. You, when you look down, it says a virgin, pure, unspotted, so-called as being separate and secluded from intercourse. With men, right now, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the brother just read. I'm just show you, just to show. Come on, son. Genesis right here. You can get 24 and 16 right there. That part. That's what the brother just read, showing the Strong's number. Yeah, the Strong's number is H1330. All right. So people that want to be out there, they want to dispute what we have to say. You know, that's what. That's how you can uh, look it up. You know. Yeah, um, matter of fact, let me go to Isaiah real quick. I want to pull that one up just to show the difference. Isaiah 7. Right. Isaiah 7 and 14. The brother read it earlier. You know, I'm going to just click the word version. All right. Which is I Lama. It's a difference. Let me see this. Let me pull it. Let me show it. Which is right there, Isaiah 4, 7 and 14. Which is the clear cut difference in words. The brothers read the definition, you know, so there's no dispute, man. You know, and there was a guy, brother, uh, sent the video where, you know, it was a priest basically admitting that. Hey man, the Christian church ain't nothing but a hustle, and that's one of the hustles, man. They they hit you with these uh, divinations, and these um, these enchantments, and that's one of them, man. And basically, we just gonna go into the scripture because the scripture says what uh, that we supposed to bring down strongholds, right. and in breaking down these scriptures the right way, that's how we bring down the strongholds. These strongholds is these is these uh, false doctrines that are in people's mind that got our people warped, you know. Well, go ahead, y'all brothers, you know. We'll bring up the scriptures I got. Uh, we get that in Romans. This is Romans uh, chapter one. Uh, I'll start at I'll start at one. 
Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, called to be an apostle uh, separate unto the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which he had promised afore by the prophets in the holy the holy scriptures concerning his son Yahweh Shai, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Right, it says the seed of David. You know, the, uh, a seed is what a, a man carry. You know, and it's a, uh, so if it said according, what did it say again? Uh, which was made of the seed. So it, it was, he. So that that means with this world think of the virgin birth, just that an angel just you know put the uh, baby into Mary's womb. That can't be true if it said made of the seed. Because a seed comes from a man, which that man had to have been Joseph, because that was his father in the world. And it said, according to the flesh, you know, so so it, it was a fleshly thing, you know, brothers want to expound on that. Yeah, the word uh, seed goes back to the Greek word sperma, and one of the definitions of um, the uh, sperma says the product of this semen, seed, children, offspring. That's all. Uh, progeny. So hold up, Salak, yeah. What's, uh... That's you reading it from Romans? Yeah, yeah. All right, Romans, Romans uh, one and three, three right? All it's, right. It's, oh, that's one and three. Yeah, okay. It's uh, Strong's uh, G four six nine zero. Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, yep. Okay, we can get that too. There you go. The word. Uh, this, uh, there was Samuel. There was. Uh, you know. Prophecy. It was, it was, it was prophesied to Samuel uh, that the Amish would come. Where's that one? Okay, Romans 1 and 3, here we go. None of it says uh, family, tribe, posterity. Yeah. Dealing with lineage. Yeah, yeah, because the word, the word uh, tribe is uh, thumb. The word tribe is uh, thumb, which went uh, in the Hebrew. And basically with the word tribe, it simply means family. So how do you start it? Well, how did uh, the tribes start it? Through the 12 tribes of Israel. With the 12, 12 tribes, with the 12 different families started by men. You know? So the men are the heads of families. The men, the men that's how you get your name. You know? You're supposed to. Your last name is supposed to be, you know, who, you, who your forefather is. So at the Passover, we, at the Passover you go up and uh, Peshai, Bun Ra'awa Bun, Bun Yasha Allah. Pasha is a man, Ra'awa Bun is a man, Yasha Allah is a man. You know? So, hey man, it's clear as day, you know? There's no way that you could be from the stock of Israel and not actually come from the man Israel. That's right. You know? Yeah, uh, Yahweh. You gotta speak up, huh? Yeah, Yahweh Shah, uh, Bun, Yahweh Sa, Bun, uh, Yahweh. Yeah, Bun, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Because he's yeah. the son of the Most High as well. You know, just to bring out, bring that out, because I, I know I, I mentioned that, I said that before, but really that's what made him special, you know, because he was the son of the Most High, you know, in the spirit. He's the he's the firstborn of the dead and the firstborn of life, you know. The, that he's the uh, only begotten son, you know, the firstborn of the dead, you know. You get it. But you know, we're not going to go too far into that. When brothers bring out what y'all got, you know, Revelation 22 is good. Brothers got that on there. Bring that out. You know, all right. This Revelation is twenty-two, verse sixteen. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. Right. That's what that's what the church is supposed to be declaring. You know, read that again. It said the the testimony. The testimony is the prophecy, the the covenant. Right. You know, the the, the the right, right, which you know, represents ultimately Yahweh Shai. So he said, look, this is what I want you to teach in the church. Go ahead, read that again. Start from the, I'm going to start from the top. And Yahweh Shai sent, sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. Yeah, the root and the offspring of David, you know. The offspring is what? You know, that goes back to that, that sperm again, man. You know, or they go, it goes back to that, that lineage or that, uh, uh, that tribe, you know. All right, y'all finish it up. 
and and the bright and morning star. Right. Well, yeah, that's going into something else. We'll go, bring right. y'all got whatever y'all got. Bring it up. All right. This is the prophecy uh, before time in, in Second Samuel uh, the seventh and twelfth verse. And when the days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish the kingdom. You know, he. this is talking about David, because David has Solomon, and Solomon didn't necessarily, well, I, I'm going to keep reading it, and it'll, it'll explain, I'll, then I'll explain it. Uh, this is verse 13 out of Second uh, Samuel, the seventh chapter. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Because Solomon didn't establish the kingdom forever. You know that word. You know, uh, you know who is is Yahweh Shai, and he and he came out. Uh, he came out of. The, if you read in Matthew the first chapter, which we're going to get, uh, he came out of the lineage through David, and it's, and it's telling you he came out of the lineage through the uh, through, you know in the scriptures. And I just read it, uh, and he's going to he's going to set up the kingdom forever. Right, he came out of the line of Solomon. Right, out right. of the line of David. Right. See now. Right, that right. Because uh, that would be reincarnation, you know, for people that can get it. Right, now, you know what, too, you know what, let, go ahead, keep doing what you're doing. All right, because, you know, it, Solomon set up the kingdom and he built the house, but he's to establish the kingdom forever, that's going to be Yahweh Shah. Right. Let me see something real quick. I'll bring out another scripture while he's getting that. This is Acts 2 and 29. My brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David that he is both dead and buried and the sepulcher is with us unto his un, unto this day therefore being a prophet i knowing that the most high have sworn with us an oath to him that's what we just read in second samuel the seventh chapter sworn an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Yahweh Shai to sit on his throne. So, you know, we just read that Yahweh Shai is going to come out of uh, David's seed and he's going to set up the throne forever. And then, you know, he's repeating it again in uh, Acts, the second chapter. And, uh, yeah, um, and the funny guys, you both got something to say. Right. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, y'all must keep speaking. I'm gonna point out something that because because the people would try to say, oh yeah, yeah, he came out of the uh, 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 the loins. He came out of from David, but they'll say they'll use Mary because Mary also came from the line of David. Oh, okay. But that's a it's an easy cut, and we're gonna deal with it. Clearly, he came out of uh, he came he came out of the loins of uh, Joseph because uh, what it tells you in, in Hebrews the seventh and fourteen that he sprang out of the. Uh, the tribe of Judah, spring, you know, hey brother, if you, when you get a chance, just uh, go to Hebrews 7 and 14, go come on, come on. look up the word spring, spring, he sprang out of the tribe of Judah, which you, if you spring it out of something, you, you plant in the seed, and then you, you know, as the seed grows and it's sprouting, then that's how, you know, you spring out of, but he's going to yeah. get the, so the word spring and sprout is synonymous, uh -huh. sprout is like a past tense, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, quick, precept uh matthew 22 and 30 it says for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of the most high in heaven and we know that the angels don't have sex okay okay you know so uh just to clear that up yeah. so they try to say uh he was he was um uh, an angel came down oh, oh so, yeah the angel came down and had sex with mary and that's how he got the, uh, that's how Yahweh Shah was created. But it, that's false. Um, there's a scripture. One second. I think it's in Rome. I think it's in the 15th chapter. Go ahead, speak, brother. Yeah, um, I got the uh, Hebrews 7 and 14 uh, for spring. Uh, it's Anatello. Um, the definitions are rise, to cause to rise. Of the earth bring forth plants, you know, like you right. said, you know, to spring up. It says to rise, arise, to rise from, be descended from, you know, so basically to rise, he spring out, to rise out. Right. 
Oh. From Judah. Yeah, one Yep. Yeah. And that, that, that virgin uh, birth myth goes back to uh, paganism. You know, it goes back to uh, these other gods that these other nations worship. Oh, I got it. So uh, they try to, you know, mingle uh, the one that the world in calls Jesus Christ with these other gods. You know, some myth mythological birth, right. so to speak. I, yeah. I got a scripture. I'm going to go to John 145. Yeah. This is John uh, 1, let me show me 1, and 45. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, yeah, uh, did write, Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, Nazareth, the son of Joseph. They're clear cut that this, he was. He was from Nazareth, and he's the son of what, Joseph. This is John, second chapter. Oh, oh, oh! This is the okay. This is the first chapter, forty fifth verse. Oh, John. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's when they was looking for him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said, "I found him." Philip, Philip, Philip. This is. Uh, I'll just read it again. Philip findeth Nathaniel, and saith unto him, "We have found him of whom Moses in the law, and the prophets did write." Yeah, how was I? Of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Right, that's right, that's right. So, but see, the thing is, the Christian church they try to say what, what they'll say is that oh, see, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. The only way he knew, the only way he was, is because, uh, uh, because that's just the way everybody knew him as, you know. Not necessarily saying he actually came from that line, you know. But uh, uh, I'll read. Let me read this real quick. Come on. This is uh, this is uh, Matthew, chapter one. Because you read that in Second Samuel, the seventh chapter, where the promise was unto date to to to, uh, to David unto Solomon that his house shall be uh, to be unto generations. Right now, this is uh this is the genealogy of Yahweh Shai through Joseph. Right now, it says uh what verse is that? Right, this is uh Matthew one and six, and Jesse begat David, the king. And David, the king, begat Solomon of her that had been of the wife of Uriah's. Right. Talking about uh, Bathsheba. Right. Now, when you jump over, this is Luke, the third chapter. And then it says, uh, right. Now, listen to this. It says, it's, now, because Luke, the third chapter goes backwards. You know, it starts off from, it starts from Mary. And it goes backwards into Mary's fathers. See, and n notice it doesn't mention Mary's mothers. Right? So, because this is what people say. Yeah, he did come out of the line of David through, through, through Mary. Yeah, through Mary. Right? Now, listen. That doesn't match up with Second Samuel, though. Because this is what the scriptures say. Verse 31. Uh, Luke 3 and 31. Which was the son of Meliah, which was the son of Menon. Mind you, this goes backwards. Which was the son of... Ma'ata, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David. Because David had a son named Nathan as well. He had Absalom. He had uh, uh, Ab Abishal. No, 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 no. I was going to say Abner. But that would, no, it's not Abner. He had Absalom. He had other sons, you know. But uh, uh, Nathan is one of the sons. Now, through Nathan, that's where you get Mary being of the royal line. You know, you don't get, you don't get, um, you don't get Joseph through that same line. Joseph was the son of, uh, through, through Solomon, you know, so that's where the prophecy matches up to, uh, uh, second Samuel. So you don't, the, the prophecy don't match up from second Samuel on, on Mary's, through, on Mary's lineage because it was promised unto Solomon and not Nathan. Yeah, because Luke was written before Matthew, for people that don't know. But, um, I got something. I got to find it. Um, a great sight. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm going I'm to I'm go to Matthew's uh, 
is going to it's going to talk about how Mary, the 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 the, the angel will go to Mary and then tell her before. That's Matthew one, and okay. try like nineteen. Now, but this this one in Luke, Matt, uh, the first chapter too. Yeah, yeah. Because because yeah. that's basically, oh, that's basically he's basically gonna tell the angel's gonna tell Mary that she's gonna have it, and then in Matthew's it says that she she she's she's basically she already has she basically has it. Right. It's about probably I think Luke one twenty six. Yeah, something real quick. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Luke the first chapter, verse thirteen. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the, of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Now that don't mean that his parents didn't have sex, because he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and another thing is too, uh, 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 his mother was a Judite, right? Now, but what tribe was John from? He was a Levite, because Zechariah, the, the man, he was a Levite. So how come? So how come? So how come Zechariah is a, a, a Levite? No, yeah, yeah. Zechariah is a Levite. John is a Levite, but him and Yahweh is cousins. Why? Because it's not going by the mother; it's going by the father. Because Mary and Zechariah's wife, I can't think of her name, but they were sisters. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, right. Yeah. You know, so, the, hey, there you go, man. The, the, that's a clean cut right there, man. You know, it doesn't make sense to them that, under, to them that understand it's clear as day. You know, we can see it clear as, clear as day because it's not hard. You know, and when you go, like the brother was mentioning, you go into these pagan philosophies, you go into ceramics and Tammuz and all this other madness, this, uh, uh, back to how I was in Egypt and everything, you know, how... Basically, there was some miraculous birth, and that's where they get the concept from. Matter of fact, as we was talking earlier, I was talking about how certain things that I was actually indulging into, you know, prior to uh, uh, coming into the truth. There's a book. It's called The Journey of the Sangaya People. And The Journey of the Sangaya People, which it sounds like The Journey of the Sun God People, you know, that's what always stood out to me. But basically, in that book, they talk about how there was, enough, there was a family that had a similar uh, birth with a so-called virgin birth, you know, which which they was talking about some ancient, I forget who it was, you know, I don't know who it was specifically, however, they were talking about some people that were in Africa that went through that same thing, and they were trying to say, oh, look, see, it's the same, see, it's the same. See, some people say, oh, that the, the Bible is plagiarized, and they get that story from Egypt, or they'll say, oh, it's not real, they just, uh, uh, uh. no, 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 they'll say, yeah, that's nothing new. You know, that happened in, through other people. But, but that's, none of that is the case. The case is, is that Mary and Joseph had sex, and Yahweh Shai came through, this, through the line of Joseph. That's right. No other way. Right. Yeah, I, that, you know, that, that's, the point has been made. You right. know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just read it just to, just to clear, you know, to make it plain upon the table. Uh, this is Luke, the first chapter, the 26th verse. Uh, Luke what? Uh, 26th verse, Luke, Luke 1 and 26. Come on. Uh, and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent forth from the Most High unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exp ex exposed to a man whose name was Joseph to the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary, and the angel the angel came in unto her and said, "Hail." <laughs> that doesn't mean they had sex. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go ahead. Thou art in high, highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Women, women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his at his saying. Yeah, because in, in the Catholic Church, you know, in school, I remember I used to do Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless of all, thou art uh, woman. But what is, that, they make you quote that in Catholic school. I never forget that. I don't remember but thank God. The Hail Mary. Yeah, uh, uh, Hail Mary. Yeah, no, no, what I'm saying, <laughs> in the, in, we used to do this, uh, the uh, uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag 
And right after that, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And we have to quote that right there. Now, the thing is, they they try to make it see. I forget how you, how it goes. But I do remember that in it, they try to convince you that Mary, the reason why she was blessed among women was because she had uh, Yahweh Shai through, through her, through her uh, paps, if you will. You know, but the scripture is saying that she was blessed among women because, not because she had the child, because the child was, wasn't even born yet, but she was saying, blessed are ye among women. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, even the, you know, the Catholic Church got it backwards, man. She wasn't, she was already highly favored. You know, just like there was other women in the scripture that were highly favored. You know? Um, can, I, can I bring it out since you mentioned that? Uh, Hail Mary full of grace. Oh, prayer. Jesus. <laughs> this is from CatholicPlanet.com. It says the traditional version. Hail Mary full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Now that's not how we used to say well, that's it. Not how you used to say it. But still, but still, but still, it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. See, because they try to say because of the womb, that's why she was blessed. Yeah. But it was prior mm -hmm. to that, even her having a child, her being blessed. You know, she was already favored prior to the child. You know, go ahead, brother. That's a lot. Uh, Just make it quick because yeah. we about to uh, oh, okay. end it. Huh. And the angel came unto her. Uh, uh, that's a lot. Go one down. And she was. She saw him. She was troubled. At his sayings and cast in her mind what manner of sal uh, salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou for thou hast found favor in the Most High, and found and and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Yahweh Shine. Right, that was a prophecy. Right, that was a pro that, that wasn't that don't mean she had the child right there in her womb. That was a prophecy. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. He shall be great. And read, call we read it. Oh, oh, so this is uh, Luke 1 and 32. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord thy power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Right. Now the other one you read was in Matthew. Yeah. Did we read it? Yeah, you just read it. Okay, okay, okay. You know, so th that shows the difference right there. You know, and with that we're going to give all praise to see how about Shimei Yahushai. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And, uh, man, a, a, a Lord willing, the lek was fed. You know, you got another uh, 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 angle to swing the sword now. Right. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.